now that we have our background map and the different categories of places to go in Bern um, colored in different ways, we can start making a proper map that we can include in publications or also in presentations, for example. And the most straightforward option is probably just to take a screenshot of this Im of this uh, window here. But since this is not a proper map layout and also uh, se several features would be missing for such a map, um, there is another way of doing that. We have to make a print layout for our map. To do so, we can click on Project and here select New Print Layout. And I just, if, if I click that, um, there is this dialog which asks me to give it a title. So I just call it Places in Bern, but you can use arbitrary titles here. And if I click OK, another window pops up and now I'm greeted with an empty um, A4 paper in this situation. If I move this window a bit out of, of the way, you can see that in the background still our actual map in QGIS is visible. Um, this here is represents an actual sheet of paper, while this here um, is of course our endless round representation of the Earth's surface. So I can move out uh, and pan around and here we have a piece of a sheet of paper um, that will represent the final map in the end. So currently we don't have any map here um, and also it usually starts with this A4 uh, in landscape mood. Uh, if we would like to change that we can right click on that and select the uh, page properties and there I can change for example to uh, to portrait mode or select a different page layout, page size here. Or do we stick to A4 and uh, um, landscape mode because most of the time this is the best option for starting making a map. Okay, to add a map here, on the left you see here the different options. So one is to move the layout, to zoom, to select something that's per default enabled to move the content of an element, um, to change some elements with uh, nodes. You can also add an element with a node, for example, polygon or a polyline. They are not strictly in the map, they are just for the print layout. You can add a 3D map if you have one. You can add a map, that's what we are, will do now. Uh, an image, text, a legend, a scale bar and an off arrow, we'll come to that later, and um, an arbitrary form, some markers, arrows, as I said, polygons for example, HTML, um, parts of the attribute table, or a fixed table with fixed content. But we will start with adding a map here, so I click on that option, and you see if I go to the edge here, there are some guides that show up, so this ensures that I'm really here at the edge of the sheet of paper if I'm making a map and the same um, happens if I go to the lower right corner. If I now release the mouse button, I see a map appearing here. You might see that this map reflects the map that we have here in the background. So if we don't like how this display is currently here. I can go um, to move the content of the element and click somewhere here. You can see now I can move the map around and also with the mouse wheel zoom in and zoom out. You also will realize while I'm doing that here the scale is changing. So I want to have a fixed scale, let's say 1 to 100,000. I can just enter it here, press enter, and then I have that scale available here. Okay, um, 
<clears throat> now we have kind of a map already and in the next video I will show you how you add additional elements to that map.